I want to thank you very much for joining us today and to wish everybody all, all the best during these difficult times. At the top right of your screen right now, you'll see a little icon. You could left click it and you could update your name. You could update a profile picture. You could um, in connect with your LinkedIn profile, which is a really cool feature because when you're networking with somebody, it, you think of it as a virtual business card. When we're back in the lobby mode, you'll see that there's tiny little icons of everybody in various rooms, up to six people per room, at least on the, 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 the platform that I'm using. There's different levels, like tiers, but in this case, there's up to six people per room. You could hover over somebody, left click it, and their little virtual business card will show up. If you left click their connect on LinkedIn, it automatically opens up a new window and it's so easy to connect with them on LinkedIn. It's, it's a really cool feature. There's other, also another option in your updating profile section to include a meeting booking URL. It doesn't have to be Calendly or an Outlook invite. It could be anywhere you want to direct people. For instance, I think mine goes to my eSACS website, or I could have it go to my SACS site or, or a URL of a YouTube video, anywhere you want to direct people. Again, it's that virtual business card. How do you bounce around and talk to other people? Very simple. It, the, the system will automatically place you in a room or table, and you'll see there's a few, usually a few other people there. If there's nobody in your room, you can just easily bounce to another room by double clicking an empty sofa chair in the room you want to go to and just double click it. When you do that, you will automatically be booted out of your current room and brought right over to your other room. So for instance, there's three or four people, let's say in room table number three and you're hanging out in table number one, there's nobody there. Well, think about it at a networking event. You're at a cocktail reception and you're standing around with your drink. You're looking around, nobody's there, but you see a room with the table, two other people, you walk over to them. This is the same way. You just double click it and you'll instantly join that table. But you have to remember the default is camera off and mic off. In order to see people's picture at the top of your screen, their camera has to be on. So we don't want any lurkers uh, around, around at a networking event. So please, it's a good best practice to put your camera and mic on so we can hear you. On the left hand side of the lobby and the right hand side, you'll see logos. They act as a regular room, but if you have a sponsor, let's say I had somebody from the Ottawa Board of Trade who was on the call with us, then that person could be in that room stationary and then people will come in and bounce around and ask questions about them because I have their logo. It's very easy to see. And again, I added a URL to their website, or I believe there's also a video that you could go double click some of these sponsors. Each table, like I mentioned, can be individually named. If you're doing, let's say a silent auction, each table can have a different item. If you have different stakeholders, each table can be renamed as their business page. Very easy. When we go back to the main lobby at the top of the screen, above the little tables, normally where you would see the pe your, your pictures from everybody in that room, you'll notice that there lo looks like a semicircle, an orange semicircle. That, it, it's supposed, to, I believe it's supposed to represent a stage. On the right of that stage, there's a little square with text, completely customizable. And I provided some best practices on how to use some of the functionality. To the left of the stage, is a little YouTube video on how to use the program. I think you'll agree that for those of you who host events, this is a really unique platform to be able to interact with everybody, at least in the presentation mode for sure, but also at a networking event, you're only talking to people around your table. I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier, but let's say you're in table number five and there's four other people in your room in that table. So there's five people in total. You're only interacting with those five people at table five. You could see their picture, you could see, you could hear and interact in real time. You're not talking to anybody else at other tables. And this is the coolest part of the feature because when you're networking, again, you're only interacting with a few people at a time. This is the way to do that. Each room acts as a separate standalone connection with those people. I encourage you to play around with some of the functionality, bounce around tables, click on some of the sponsor links, see how you might be able to use this platform. And I think more people, once they realize it, it it's gonna be incredibly valuable. It's incredible what this platform could do for those organizations who host networking events. And if you haven't done so already, please update your profile at the top right of the screen. And if you, again, if you have any technical issues, your camera's not working, your mic is fuzzy, refresh the page, but remember that it goes back to default that your camera is off 
and your mic is off. You have to do that back at the bottom of the screen. So stand by everybody. Happy networking. Thank you.